My name is Anthony Holdsworth. I've been a painter of the urban scene in Oakland, San Francisco, and to a lesser degree in Italy and Mexico for um, going on 40 years. I started in Oakland and I, I, I lived in a house in Oakland and um, originally I went out and did country landscapes like a lot of plein air painters, you know, cows and hills and all that stuff. And then my truck broke down. And um, so I, I, I started painting around my house in North Oakland and I, I actually felt that the paintings I was doing were much more vital and were really more related to the reality that I was experiencing than this stuff in the countryside, you know, because I was living in an urban environment. Most of us live in urban environments. And I came to realize that the urban environment was a real uh, strong reflection of who we are. So I, I just started exploring it. Some of the energy in the paintings is actually the energy contributed by the community. And that I think that's very important. And I think it, from the response I've been getting to my shows, I think, I think that transmits through the paintings. I've been concentrating the last four years on the Mission District. It pains me a lot to see the, the, um, the speculators destroying one of the more interesting, well, one of the most vital um, cultural communities in, in San Francisco. When I started working in the Mission uh, four years ago, my nephew, Camilo Landau was working at Acción Latina and he was, he was working on Carnaval and also music events. So I became familiar with Acción Latina and, and also um, uh, with Georgiana at the time. Uh, and when I had my first show, which was actually at the uh, Alley Cat Bookstore of the Mission District series, which was a really big success, I actually uh, gave 10% of sales to Acción Latina. Since I was painting the community, I felt I should be, you know, uh, I should be contributing something to the community, so returning something. And so we got to know each other real well, and they, about six months ago, they said, why don't you submit a proposal? And I submitted a proposal of a, a series of paintings, uh, uh, the mission and, and my paintings of Mexico to kind of draw the, the link which I always have felt between, between the mission and Latin America. I guess one of my favorite would be the, the very long one that I did of Bami Alley which happened almost accidentally. I started out with a single panel like this and then decided to add another panel and then just kept adding panels till I had an eight foot wide painting. One of the things about that painting was it took about almost two months. And um, so, and it started on the left and went, worked to the right. So the, the lighting and the sky on the left is actually six weeks to two months different. <laughs> The sky. So there's an, there's an element of time in the painting as well, which maybe, maybe comes through, I don't know. I, mean, I feel that the art scene in San Francisco is already in terrible trouble. I mean, it's in trouble um, from displacement, you know, a huge amount of displacement of artists out of, out of the city. Um, uh, they're being priced out by the, the, the rising cost of rents. They, they don't have the sales they used to have. Well, I've seen that very, very clearly, and it's really troubling. I, I've, it's become a lot more difficult to, you know, we, we don't... we felt the pinch ever since 2008. In fact, in 2008, it, uh, it was a real crisis for us uh, because for a couple of years, sales went almost to zero. Well, I mean, artists are one group of people who, I mean, it's part of their job is to report what they see, whether it's abstractly or realistically, you know. It, and uh, you, need, you need independent eyes, independent um, uh, you know, people who are connecting with reality from a, from a personal and independent point of view. And, um, not always, but you often find um, 
the leading edge of progressive change, they're, they're, they're artists because they can see clearly what needs to be done.